The Xbox Spring Sale is now live. They're close to around 400 games on discount, and I'm going to go through the list and tell you what games I think are worthy of a purchase. Let's get into it. What is going on, everybody? Randolph419, the man with the million, back again with another video. Hope everyone's having a fantastic weekend. And if you could do me a big favor, if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Now, I know a lot of people are stuck indoors. There's tons of games on sale right now. So I'm going to tell you what I think is worth playing through and what games will boost up your gamer score if you want to go for it. Now, I'm on Xbox.com and I'm only going to mention Game Pass once and EA Access. Just keep in mind, EA games are in the vault. They're basically free with the subscription. And there are tons of games on Game Pass. But I don't want to keep you guys here that long. These videos tend to be quite long in length. So just keep in mind that Xbox Game Pass is out there. It's a dollar for your first month. They're like 10 bucks. A lot of these games can be had on a subscription. And with that said, let's get into it. So we're going to start out with A Way Out, which is a great co-op experience. I recommend it at 750. It's an easy thousand, just like Abzu. If you want to get your gamer score up, these two are great. Abzu's a really chill experience. I recommend that for $10. I actually purchased H Combat 7 for $19.79 as part of the story. I saw it was $60, bucks, now it's 20 bucks. I want to give it a run through. I want to see what that series is all about, considering I haven't played it in a long time. Anthem, on sale for $9, part of EA Access. I get questions about this a lot. If I buy the game this cheaply, will I get the big upgrade they promised at the end of the year or whenever it does come out? You would, but I don't really have... I haven't played it. I don't have an opinion on it. But keep in mind, it's part of a subscription if you want to go that way. Arise a Simple Story. I heard this was a really cool indie, and it's on sale for 14 bucks, So I bought it. Uh, just letting you guys know, I'll probably talk about it on a podcast coming up. All the Assassin's Creed games are on sale. And quite frankly, outside of Unity, they're all worth playing. But if you want to maybe pick a, and choose a couple... I think Assassin's Creed Odyssey for 20 is a steal. That game will get you 100 hours just off the main game and then probably another 50 if you want to buy the DLC. Origins is great. Assassin's Creed Syndicate is pretty cool. But right here, Assassin's Creed The Ezio Collection. 12 bucks. It comes with three remastered Assassin's Creed games. Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and Revelations. Like, this will definitely pass the time sitting through this lockdown. Avicii and Vector for $15. I really enjoyed this game. It's a rhythm game. You're piloting a ship to some pretty damn fantastic music. And as always, the Batman games are all part of the sale. Usually these, these sales all have the same games. So sometimes I do feel like I'm repeating myself too much. But apparently you guys like to watch this. I recommend everybody play these. So you can get the Arkham Collection for 23 which is all three games. So that's what I would recommend. The Batman series is one of my favorite series in gaming. Please play that. All the Battlefield games are on sale. Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline. I would be cautious about playing Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4, buying those because who knows if the multiplayer servers are working. The single player campaigns are okay. Battlefield 1's is pretty strong, so I would consider that a 10. Hardline at 10 has a pretty strong campaign. Although for 15 bucks, I actually think Battlefield 5 is a good purchase. It's got a decent campaign, but the multiplayer is quite good. Moving on, we have Bioshock. This is an absolute. If you haven't paid, if you haven't played Bioshock 1 or 2 or Infinite, you need to pick this game up for $15. Black to Fall, pretty cool indie game, not as good as Inside, but very much like it. Really easy thousand. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, not a big discount there. But it's a fantastic game if you like uh, the Castlevania-like experience. Borderlands 3 on sale for half off. Uh, I like the game quite a bit. It does have its flaws. I would like to see it be a little bit cheaper, maybe around 25, 20 bucks. But if you have a crew to play through it with, uh, then I would actually pick it up. Same thing here with the Borderlands Handsome Collection and Borderlands Game of the Year Edition. They're not really good for solo experiences. They're only really good for the co-op. 
Brother is a Tale of Two Sons, one of my favorite indie games from last gen remastered for this gen. Easy thousand, definite pickup for four dollars. Burnout Paradise Remastered, same thing. One of the best racing games from last gen. Remastered, five bucks, get that. There's so many great games on sale here for so cheap that you won't have to worry about the whole lockdown situation. You'll have hundreds upon hundreds of hours of gaming to get through. A bunch of Call of Duty games are on sale. I pass on Ghost. Advanced Warfare for 1979. Eh, I don't know about that one. The campaign's not that very good. And, and I don't know if anyone really plays the multiplayer. I'd skip Black Ops 4. The two I would recommend out of this are definitely Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It's fantastic. And Call of Duty World War II, I thought was actually really well done. Moving on, we have Child of Morta for 15 bucks. Really good indie game. I definitely recommend that one. City Skylines, people tell me all the time they adore this. It's like a city management game where you build up uh, your cities. Not my type of thing, but people do tell me all the time that it's uh, one of the better ones in the genre. Uh, moving on here, we have Control. I would like Control to be a little bit cheaper. It's 60 bucks on sale for 38. I did like it. There is DLC coming, but is that enough of a price drop? I would say maybe hold off. It just came to PlayStation now. I think eventually it'll come to Game Pass, and at some point it'll probably reach 30 bucks or 25, and that would be the time to check it out, especially if it has that rumored Alan Wake DLC. Crackdown 3, skip it, uh, not worth playing, nobody's playing the multiplayer anymore, not worth your time. Uh, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for 20 bucks I think is a, a, a bargain, it's got three of the Crash games. Uh, Nitro of Frilled, I'm not really a big fan of the like go-kart stuff, so I didn't really play that one. Grand Theft Auto Online, I'm sure that's on sale, uh, but for $83, I would say no, so we'll have to see later in the sale if it's actually on uh, on sale for cheap. Cuphead, absolutely one of the best indie games and games of this entire generation. It is difficult, so keep that in mind, and hey, where's the DLC? We were promised this DLC in what, 2019? Maybe, what was it, 2018? It's 2020, it's not here. Come on, guys. Uh, all the Dark Souls games are on sale. Uh, Remastered is 16 bucks. Dark, Dark Souls 3 is 15. Dark Souls 2 is 10. Uh, Dark Souls Remastered and Dark Souls 3 are probably the ones to get. Uh, Dark Souls Genesis, 40 bucks. I actually really like this game, but if you didn't buy it at 40, the only you know $4 discount probably won't tempt you. So I would say wait on that, even though it's it's a game that I enjoy and has two-player co-op. Darksiders 3 for $17.99. Uh, got a bunch of patches, has some DLC. I think it's worthy of a purchase at that price. What else we got here? Dead Cells, excellent game. Totally recommend it for $21. And I'm not really a big fan of the roguelike genre, but that definitely is probably the best one there. We have all the Dead Rising games on sale. Dead Rising 1 and 2, 2 off the record, Dead Rising 4. Didn't much care for 4, but I mean... You can get the Dead Rising Triple Pack, which comes with one, two, and off the record for 15 bucks. That's three long games. Dead Rising 1 was a fantastic game for his time, and people really love off the record. Uh, Descenders, pretty cool game. Check it out. I didn't really get much into it myself, so for 15 bucks, I would kind of say, well, if that the, the bike riding is for you and the procedural generated levels, then maybe I would consider it. Uh, skip on Destiny. You guys know I don't care for Destiny. Absolutely, for $4.50, pick up Deus Ex and Mankind Divided. Uh, Devil May Cry 5 for 20 bucks. Absolutely one of the best action slashers uh, of this generation. And if you haven't played Devil May Cry 4, well, for $7.50, you really can't go wrong either. Yes to Diablo 3 especially, and probably most importantly, if you have co-op, if you have players to play it with, it's not, to me, Diablo and the Borderlands games, they're co-op experiences, they're not really single player, but it is still a fantastic, fantastic game. Uh, DMC, Devil May Cry, the makers of, uh, you know, Ninja Theory, they made this, they, they, they have Blade and they just put out Bleeding Edge. I love that game for $10, I think it is totally worth it. We have the Doom games on sale, Doom 2016 for 10 bucks. Yes, get that game. Get preparation for Doom Eternal, which I just finished. It is so freaking good, people. And I actually bought Doom 1993 and Doom 2 for $2.49 each. 
and then I picked up Doom 3. So basically, for 10 bucks, I got Doom 1, Doom 2, and Doom 3. Now, I'm probably not going to play any of those games, but I wanted it as part of my, of my collection. Dragon Age Inquisition for 10 bucks is a pretty good deal. Those, those are always on sale, and of course, as part of EA Access. I can't really say much about Dragon Ball because I don't play it. Uh, Dying Light is actually a really good co-op zombie fighting game, and it's not bad to play it by yourself. So for 20 bucks, I would I would say yes, get it, and it would kind of get you caught up to speed for Dying Light 2 whenever that comes out. It's supposed to come out the end of this year, probably is going to come out uh, next year, right, in 2021. The FIFA games are on sale, the UFC games are on sale. If you want to get your fighting in, 10 bucks can't really go wrong with that. Fallout 4, $9. And Fallout 4 is going to get you over 100 hours of content, especially if you get the Game of the Year edition with the DLC for 20 bucks. That's going to save you a lot of money. And here you go, Far Cry Insanity Bundle. Uh, 35 bucks for Far Cry 4, Far Cry 3, and Far Cry 5. Absolutely. Uh, although, it's like, which one do you want to start with? If you're not really into the Far Cry universe, I would probably play 5 first. Although, in my opinion, 3 is the best. Uh, they all kind of are very similar. But I, all, but I do think they are great games. Uh, but Far Cry 5 for $15, yes. Far Cry 4 for $7. I would skip Far Cry New Dawn. I didn't think it was very good. For Honor is pretty cool. But honestly, uh, play that only if you're really interested in the multiplayer aspect and you have friends with it. The campaign is decent, but people play that for the multiplayer. But everybody who plays it now is probably really good. Uh, Forza Horizon 4, absolutely. One of the best racing games of this gen. Recommend that for 30 bucks. Let's see, keep on going here. Gears 5, same thing, $30. It's worth it, but like with all Microsoft games, they're in Game Pass. Uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, I think that's a little bit on sale, but for the Ultimate Edition, no. I don't really like Ghost Recon. Ghostbusters, the video game, 12 bucks. Actually, I would recommend this. It's a 360 game remastered, but if you didn't play it the first time, this is actually quite fun. So yeah, pick that up. Premium edition of Grand Theft Auto 5 for 15. Yeah, I mean, everybody owns Grand Theft Auto 5 already, but it's it's so good. Uh, skip on Grid. If you're looking for a racing game, play the Forzas. They're better, way better than the new Grid. Hellblade, pick that up so you can get kind of up to speed with Hellblade 2. It's fantastic and 15 bucks. The Hitman games. You want to talk about some hours spent. So if you spend $17.99 for both games, so you're looking at like what? $34. You get Hitman HD Collection, which is Hitman Absolution and Hitman Blood Money. Both great games. And then Hitman 2 has like all the levels from Hitman 1 and Hitman 2. There's ton of replayability in that. Love the Hitman franchise. Can't wait to see what they do next with that. Moving on here, we have Injustice 2. Amazing. I know fighting games can not be people's things and it's really not mine but the storytelling in this one alongside like mortal kombat is just ridiculous and that's why i really play those and i think it's definitely worth 12 bucks now journey to the savage planet is a newer game that came out i bought it when it was 30 i actually quite like the game you can play it in co-op so for 18 bucks i would like to see a little bit cheaper but I would really, if you were on the fence, like if you wanted to play that game at 30, but you didn't pull the trigger, I think $17.99 is a really good price for that. Although it could be a little bit cheaper down the road, but still, uh, I recommend Journey to the Savage Planet. Just Cause 3 is so cheap. It's five bucks, get it. Uh, Just Cause 4 Complete Edition, 20 bucks. It has all the DLC. If you like Just Cause 3, then maybe consider getting that. Uh, Killer Instinct, absolutely, for 10 bucks, One of the best fighting games of the generation. Hopefully, with, we get to see a sequel. Ellie Noir, if you didn't play it for 20 bucks, 50% off, get this. It's a great game on the 360. They remastered it on the Xbox One. There's rumors that there's a sequel going to get announced at some point. Uh, but yeah, play it. Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris is really good, especially for 4 bucks. Uh, I didn't play Layers of Fear. Here's all the LEGO games. Unfortunately, I stopped playing all these LEGO games. I used to play them quite a bit. Last one I played was LEGO Batman Beyond Gotham, but these are good if you got kids around, uh, younger folk, and if you want to keep them occupied, then you can definitely pick up any one of these. They're all really, really, really cheap. Uh, Life is Strange, and I definitely recommend Season 1 for 4 bucks. and if you like that, then 
Before the Storm, which is a prequel, for $4, $3.40. Both of these are great. I haven't started Life is Strange 2 yet, so I'm hesitant to, to actually recommend it, although it is in Xbox Game Pass. Nightmares, Little Nightmares. Love, love, love this game. Uh, great indie title. Yes, $7.50. If you guys haven't played it, please pick it up. Mad Max, great deal for $10. Bucks. Madden games are on sale. I don't play those. Mafia 3 is on sale. Uh, $10. I would get that. I did see the kind of rumors that Mafia 2 remaster is coming. That'd be interesting. I did play Mafia 2 on the 360. Would I replay it though? I'm not sure. It's a, it's a longer game. Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda for $9. Um, I'm a big fan of Mass Effect. I played one, two, and three, loved it. One of my favorite franchises. I didn't actually play through the single player of Andromeda yet. I do own the game and I should probably get to it. Whole bunch of Mega Man games on sale here, but unfortunately I haven't really played any of these. So I can't give you my opinion. Metro Exodus for 18 bucks. Yes, buy this. It's so good. It's so, so good. And if you have an Xbox One X, it looks ridiculous. What we got here, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, and Shadow of War, 10 bucks and 15 bucks. Absolutely, for 25 bucks, you can get both of these games. They're, they're awesome, man. They're really, really good. Can't wait to see what Monolith, the developers of the game, make next. Mortal Kombat 11 for $24, absolutely. It's probably the best fighting game of this generation. But if you don't want to spend that much money, you can get Mortal Kombat XL, which is the previous one, all the DLC for eight bucks. Can't go wrong. Uh, Murdered Soul Suspect, $3. Yes, get it. It's actually really good, and it's a really easy 1,000 gamer score. My friend Pedro, I'd probably say wait for a deeper drop, although it is only $20 on sale for $14. And it's, it, to me, it was kind of a little bit overhyped. Uh, the Naruto games are on sale. I don't play those. Same thing, the NBA 2K games are on sale. I don't play that. Need for Speed Heat. 30 bucks was actually, was it cheaper when it came out for the holiday sale last year? Either way, did people say it's it's better than Payback, but still, I would say if you're looking for a racing game, get the Forza series. Uh, NHL games are on sale. I have really nothing to say about that. A lot of sports games on sale I just don't really care about. No Man's Sky, it's much improved, but still not my thing. Onrush, I actually really liked Onrush. For five bucks, absolutely. The only thing I would worry about is the online population but you should get enough out of it if you go through the single player campaign. Anamusha Warlords for 10 bucks. Yes, love this game. Man, I hope they make a like a new version of Anamusha. Love it. Ori and the Blind Forest. I always recommend this game and it's 5 bucks, people. If you haven't played it, get this game and then get the sequel Will of the Wisps and thank me later. <laughs> uh, Pillars of Eternity games are on sale, but I haven't played those yet. Plants vs. Zombies battle for Neighborville. I mean, people tell me all the time Plants vs. Zombies is great, and this is really, really cheap. Ten bucks or twelve forty nine for the, you know, the deluxe edition. PUBG, you know, same thing with the multiplayer game. Same thing with Plants vs. Zombies and the co op stuff. I'd get it for ten dollars. Make sure you have a crew. In my experience, playing solo isn't the best. Uh, Power Rangers Battle for a Grid. It's a fighting game. Uh, not my style. Quantum Break, absolutely, for 10 bucks. I think it's worth playing through. And that's the right price. Control, more newer, or newer, I guess. Uh, it's a little bit higher price. But I think Quantum Break got a bad rap. I think the game is actually really, really good. And for $10, obviously, it's a steal. But remember, keep in mind, guys, and I'm going to say it one more time, E, no, not EA Access, Xbox Game Pass. Rage 2 for 18 Man, I found Rage 2 to be quite boring, but when you're starting to get down to that less than $20 range, that's when, you know, you're kind of like, well, it's only 18 bucks, but still, I would say wait even more because I didn't think the game was that good. Rare Replay for 15 bucks. I mean, it's got a ton of games in there. Battletoads, Perfect Dark, Viva Pinatas. I mean, you can't really go wrong for $15 if you're interested in the back catalog that Rare has. Rayman Legends, five bucks, absolutely love that game. Uh, it's a platformer and it's one of the absolute best. Record Definitive Edition, 10 bucks. It's, yeah, it's probably a good price for that game. It probably really is $10. I didn't really care for it much, but I haven't played the Definitive Edition. 
Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, so far my game of the generation, so for $30 you damn well know I'm going to say yes to that game. Rise of the Tomb Raider for $9, absolutely, that is a must-have, a must-play, and I'm sure the other Tomb Raider games are on sale, but they're not, obviously we're sorted by A through Z. Uh, Rise for $7.50, worth playing through, I think it was much maligned, it's like a 60 on Metacritic, and I definitely think it's way better than the score it got, and you haven't played through it, you're definitely in for a wild ride. Uh, moving on from that, we have Sea of Solitude for 10 bucks. I played through it. It's actually really, really fun, really short indie game about, yes, depression, but in my opinion, still worth playing. Sea of Thieves for 20 bucks. If you got a crew, maybe consider it. It's been updated a lot in the two years it's been out. Still not my type of game. Sekiro, my game of the year for last year. So you would think I would recommend it but it doesn't, it, the, the discount's really not that high. It's it's only on sale for like, what is that? Uh, like 12 bucks, basically. Um, so, well, more than that, 22. Either way, you know, this is a From Software game. It's hard. It's like Dark Souls, but like way better. So that's really up to you. For me, absolutely. But I know it's not going to be for everybody's cup of tea. I know someone's listening to this probably like, oh, Ran loves it. And I do. But you're going to beat your head. It's it's hard. I'm not sugarcoating it. I'm not saying I'm God's gift to gamers because I'm not. I definitely struggled and I definitely swore. And there are some bosses that took me hours to beat. But I love Sekiro. But just kind of know what you like before going into it. Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition for 20 That comes with all the, the like DLC, which is the challenge tombs. 100% worth it. Like... If you're one of those people out there that haven't played Tomb Raider Definitive Edition or Rise of the Tomb Raider or Shadow of the Tomb Raider, if you haven't played all three of those or any like the Batman games or SA, there's so many games you could play here for so cheap that you're going to breeze through lockdown. There's so many great games to play here. Um, I don't really care for Sniper Elite 3 or Sniper Elite 4. S Sleeping Dogs, however, 450. Yes, get this game, folks. Uh, Soul Calibur 6 was on sale for 15 bucks. That's a steep drop from 60. I actually might buy that run through the campaign just because of how cheap it is. Now we have the South Park games, Fractured Butthole and the Stick of Truth. Stick of Truth is 12 bucks. Fractured Butthole is 15. Yes to both of those. Spyro for 20. Absolutely, it's three Spyro games. They're awesome. Uh, for 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. Star Wars Jet. See, some most of the time you guys notice I, I kind of edit my videos, but this one's so long, so I'm not going to edit this video. So I just screwed up there. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, $36. Uh, yes, love this game. It's kind of like Sekiro meets Star Wars. It's not as hard as Sekiro. It's got all the Metroidvania elements. I really love the game, though. I think it was my top five last year for Game of the Year. And you know what, for, if you're a Star Wars fan, if you're looking for something to play, if you haven't played through the campaign for Battlefront 2, for 13 bucks, I'd recommend that. They've also really kind of improved the multiplayer aspect, so if you want to sink some hours into that, it's been greatly, greatly expanded upon. Uh, but I would get Star Wars Battlefront 2 and not Star Wars Battlefront Ultimate Edition, although you can't really go along for five bucks. Moving on, we have Strider for $3. It's one of the early Xbox One games. I have beat that game like three or four times. Love it. Uh, it's a Metroidvania, and I think it's definitely worth it. Sunset Overdrive for eight bucks. It's a, that's a steal. Although for twelve dollars, you can get the whole thing deluxe with all the DLC. Play that game, people. It deserves to be played by a lot more than the people you know the amount of people that did. Super Lucky's Tale. I would say it's a pass unless you're really looking for unless you really have like played everything else. Then maybe. I consider it, although they're the better platformers out there. Um, what else we got here? Some Sonic games, Tales of Vesparia, Tekken 7, that's an easy thousand as well. It's on sale for 13 bucks. It's a pretty good deal. Uh, the Crew 2, like I said earlier, racing games, you really have Forza. I played through all of Crew 2 and it's 15 bucks. I don't think it's really worth that. Man of Madon for $15. There you go. You know what? That is a fun game for that price. 
Absolutely. You can play it by yourself. You can play it with someone online. You can play it in couch co-op. It's it's a good kind of scary quick time event game. I, re I really enjoyed it. And it, I think the discount is, is worth picking it up. Skyrim, I mean, for 20 bucks. I mean, Sky Skyrim's everywhere. Who hasn't played Skyrim? But if you're one of those people that's looking for a time waster and you haven't played Skyrim, then obviously get it. Evil Within 1 and Evil Within 2, 20 bucks for both, $7.99 for the first one, $13.19 for the second one. I would, uh, yeah, I'd consider getting those. Uh, Lego Video Game, that's an easy thousand for eight bucks. Um, you know, the Lego games are what they are. The Outer Worlds, same thing with Sekiro. Really good game, not, big of, not that big of a discount. So for $38, I'd say it's up to you, but I would recommend it. You can definitely, you can speed run that game. You can have it as short as you want, or you can make it as long as you want. It's definitely up to you. Surge for five bucks. If you're looking for that kind of Dark souls is game, that's not as good. It's a sci-fi one. For five bucks, you can't really go wrong. But from all accounts, the second one is much better than the first one. Uh, Walking Dead, Telltale, well, $30 for all of them. They're good. They're older, but they're still really good. $30, I would say, you know what? I would say no. It's 50 bucks. I would say maybe some of the individual ones are a bit cheaper. Uh, so I would, I don't know. See, The Walking Dead, it's, it's really tough to recommend because they are like, you basically movies you watch. And I know some people don't really care for it, but I like Walking Dead. So I would, I would consider it. Now, The Witcher, Witcher 3, absolutely. And it's interesting here because you can get the, the original release with the expansion and get all the DLC for 20, or you can get the complete edition which has all the DLC for 15. So if you've never played Witcher before, get the complete edition, you'll get everything for $5 cheaper, and you're probably about to embark on a 150 hour adventure. So <laughs> what most people consider uh, one of the games of the entire generation. Thief for $3, you yeah, had to get it because it's that cheap. Titanfall 2, $450, absolutely 100%. Even if you're not going to play the multiplayer, it's worth it to play through the single player. Uh, Resident, or not Resident, Rainbow Six Siege, like all the other multiplayer games I've mentioned, it's worth it. It's one of the best, if not the best, multiplayer game of this gen. I definitely, I've put in around 200 hours into it. I love it. I uh, got out of it because when you play a game for that long for 200 hours, it's like, you know, you don't want to see it anymore. But you need people to play it with. That's the thing with all these kind of co-op games. You need people. Division 2, I would say, for $10.50 is worth playing through the campaign. $30, I just added expansion. Although, just like I said with Rainbow Six, you need co-op players. Ghost Recon, 20 bucks. They just updated the game to try to make it better. I did not care for it one bit at all. I thought it was like a soulless husk wasn't worth the money but i'm still gonna say pass on it because i think ghost recon wildlands is the better game and it's actually more expensive and it should tell you something wildlands is the better game so if you're looking for a ghost recon game to play it's definitely this one although they did they did just add some uh splinter cell content and terminator content to breakpoint but even then that hasn't gotten me to go back to breakpoint ah what a what a bad game that was Tomb Raider for 450, absolutely love that game. Uh, Transference for 750, easy thousand, actually really good. Short game, like an hour and a half, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, moving on here, we have hmm, Trover. It's a VR game that was ported to Xbox. I'd probably wait for a deeper sale on that one. Unravel's really good for 650. Get that. It's a great indie platformer. Um, Virginia and the Valent Hearts are fantastic. So for four, not four forty nine and two bucks, two bucks for Virginia. Please get that. That game is so good, and it doesn't have any dialogue whatsoever. I love the graphical choices they went with, and the soundtrack is so good. Please, people, play Virginia. I know some people. I've actually gotten some people who take up my recommendations, and they'll be like, "Oh, thank God, I, I played through it." Uh, it's so so great, but then sometimes I get people like what are you thinking this game was horrible and that's just kind of the way it is I definitely have a wide variety of tastes uh, But I I can't praise Virginia enough. I love that game Watch Dogs 2 for 13 bucks. I I actually really liked Watch Dogs 2 so I say yes 
Uh, Watch Dogs for 10. I'm not a fan of the first one, so I would I would get Watch Dogs 2 instead of this one. Wolfenstein The New Order. I love all the Wolfenstein games, except for Youngblood. So I get Wolfenstein The New Order for five, six dollars. Then the Old Blood for six dollars, and New Colossus for eleven ninety nine. I mean, <laughs> three games, three games, three fantastic games. Old Blood was a digital download. It's not as good as the other two, but. I mean, it's not as good doesn't mean it's like, well, one's, you know, an eight and that one's a four. It's just maybe a couple points less. Uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood was the co-op game they made. It wasn't very good whatsoever. Like, I didn't care for it. Um, what else we got here? Wreckfest, WWE, XCOM 2, Okami. I'll get Okami for $10. That's pretty good. And that does look like that's all the games on sale for the Xbox One. There are a bunch of 360 games on sale that play here. Uh, these are all really cheap and you can tell like i can't see the prices i would only really you know bother with the ones that say hey they play on xbox one like borderlands 2 uh the darksiders games although these are remastered uh dead space the dead space one and two are incredible i wish they would remaster those i get those human revolution if you're gonna play mankind divided you need to play this because it's a direct sequel um like a lot of these games are definitely worth it, and they're all so freaking cheap. Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. I mean, absolutely. Far Cry 3, Far Cry 2, Blood Dragon. What else we got here? I'm just going to go through it really fast. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, then Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, those are really good. Um, Lost Planet 2, Lost Odyssey. Now you want to talk about time. One of the better RPGs from last gen. Definitely get that. The Mass Effect trilogy all plays on Xbox One through Back and Pat. They're all worth it. It's too bad I can't really see the price. I actually really like both these Prince of Persia games. I like this one a lot. Prince of Persia 2008. I hope, hopefully they actually come back with uh, with a new Prince of Persia for next generation. Raymond Origins, love this. Raymond Legends, 100%. Red Dead Redemption, of course. How could you not, not choose Red Dead Redemption? Remember Me is actually pretty good. Uh, the Splinter Cell games, yeah, we haven't gotten a Splinter Cell game in seven years. So, you know what? They're all on sale, it looks like. Splinter Cell 1, Chaos Theory, Double Agents, um, Pandora, like, get them. Like, Conviction, they all play on the Xbox One. And they're all, for the most part, really good. Uh, what else we got here? Syndicate, but nah, that one doesn't play on Xbox. Ghost Recon games are good. The Rainbow Six Vegas campaign is great. Uh, oh, Blacklist is right here. This game's amazing. Witcher 2, if you if you haven't played through The Witcher, I would play Witcher 2 first, then play Witcher. Uh, Tomb Raider Underworld is fantastic, as, as well as Tomb Raider Anniversary. So there, there's a lot of 360 games here, too, that are on sale that are definitely worth it. And they have some PC sales here as well. But you know what? I don't want to take anybody's time up. I know I've been talking for a while. Those are all the things on sale for the spring. A lot of games... But uh, a lot of good games. Hopefully you found this video helpful or useful. If you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Share this out on social media. And hit that notification bell if you want to be notified immediately when I drop new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Later, guys.